Hey guys, Eric from Protex Remodeling in Grand Prairie, Texas. So check this out. Today we're doing a new uh, subcontracted install for a new company, right? So this company sells really, really, really high-end windows in DFW. I'm, when I say high-end, I'm talking three and four and five thousand dollars a window and up. Um, and they did a vinyl job for a guy, one of their customers. I'm not really sure who it is. And my guys right now are cutting the nail flanges off the windows because they used a cheap new construction builder's grade window on this house. And I know for a fact for what I'm charging them for labor, they got to be getting a thousand dollars a window from the homeowner. So I'm going to show you real quick what can happen. Uh, when you're not careful who you're dealing with because once again you think you're dealing with a reputable specialized replacement window you know siding exterior contractor that that's what they do all day every day and then you end up in a predicament like this where this homeowner just paid a lot of money to have new construction windows put in their house so check this out so we're parked across the street there's a number to call if you need some windows and you don't want new construction windows in your house. Well, we're parked over here just because parking was tight this morning. And the noise you hear are my guys cutting the nail flange off of the window. Oh, wait, no, that's a small one. I'm sorry. The other two, the wide ones. Okay. Those go all the way in the back. You can tighten up and the trailer or wherever you want. Yeah, right. That skinny one and that skinny one go all the way around. And then those two go right there. All right. That's the window, huh? Uh -huh. I said, that's the window, huh? Yeah. So here's your outside. It's got all these bevels on there. I'm not sure what that's all about. Corner welds are not very good. You got a cheap roll form screen. See how cheap and flimsy that is? I know, right? We're showing the world what can happen when they deal with the wrong people. They've got some uh, weird sellers here I've never seen before. It's kind of cool, but like this piece. That's your nail flange. Instead of cutting it, you just pull it out. No, it's not. Sure it is. <laughs> it's not. The nail flange is still glued 